Libby Purves criticizes BBC's misguided move to clean up old shows. Libby Purves, the former BBC Radio 4 Today presenter, has criticized the corporation for editing archive programs to remove content deemed offensive, arguing that the cuts are misguided quixotism. The public broadcaster has been editing radio shows including Dad's Army, Steptoe and Son and I'm Sorry, I'll Read That Again to remove racially insensitive and politically incorrect jokes, the Times revealed earlier this year. Examples included a repeat of a 1971 episode of Steptoe and Son, which was edited to cut the word poofy from a line in which Albert Steptoe said. You're carrying on like some poofy Victorian poet. A similar snip was made to a 1974 Dad's Army episode, in which Corporal Jones referred to Chinese people as yellow friends. Writing in Radio Times magazine, Purves, who also hosted Midweek on BBC Radio 4, said she had joined the outcry at the BBC's editing, and that while she was sure it was well-intentioned, there was no obvious end to such misguided quixotism. She said outdated sitcom jokes should be kept intact to demonstrate how society has changed. She wrote. Why dishonestly take a smoothing iron to old jokes, gentrify the crumbly old edifices that shelter generations from the dull hardness of life? Why would a world that anxiously preserves the Jejun wall scrawls of Banksy be so cavalier with its grandparents' record? It can't affect us now. It's actually refreshing to be made to cringe. It shows how far we have come and makes anyone thoughtful wonder which current expressions will shock our grandchildren. I think the insulting catch-all BAME will, for instance, as will our mad readiness to throw racist as an insult where it isn't deserved. Purves has previously railed against wokeism, often called cancel culture, one of the many fronts to the so-called culture wars. Writing in The Times last year, Purves said the spirit of Mary Whitehouse, the conservative activist who campaigned against the media and arts in the 60s and 70s for encouraging a more permissive society, was back in the form of woke censorship. Today's Whitehousery has the same blind, angry piety, but with a fresh twist of punitive sadism she wrote. Its hair-trigger instinct will call out racism, sexism, ableism, privilege, transphobia or implied insensitivity. It demands not just censorship but vengeance. One wrong word and a manager must resist.